Hello fellow sleep seekers, my name is Adriana and I'm here today reporting for the Sleep Sherpa. Today I'm going to be unboxing and reviewing Mediflow's water-based pillow. So for all of you out there that just love their water and that love the feeling of floating, this might be precisely the thing for you. As you just saw a moment ago, uh, this pillow comes in a really large box. Sometimes they have pillows that they'll just like fold in half and it's, it looks a lot more compact. Uh, this is not the case here, so if you're looking for a subtle package, uh, you will not get one. Um, so this is the pillow and in fact, if you just turn it to the back, you can already see what we have here and that is where you would actually you know, insert the water into the pillow. So it comes in this nice little pouch that we are going to open so we can take a better look at it. I think we need that. So Mediflow tries to make this as easy as possible for you and along with, uh, <laughs> with this really lovely picture on the back they actually give you directions of how to do this correctly. Okay, so. As you can see, it looks like a pretty simple pillow, right? Very generic and plain, um, until you turn to the back of it. And this is where you'll see that there's the cutout for the water portion of it. And, uh, and what we have to do is we twist this open, and then that is where you pour your water. And so they even give you this right here. And there's, there's actually threads on this, so you have to thread this into place. See it locks into place, so you thread it into place, and then you get some water and give it a shot. So I'm going to grab some water so we can actually give it a try, and you guys can get a sense of what this looks and feels like. So with the pillow's packaging, on the front it actually says that uh, the support pillow clinically shown to improve quality of sleep and reduce neck pain. Um, and they actually mention a study that was published in Archives of Physical Medicine and Rehabilitation. Um, when I was looking at online reviews for the Mediflow water-based pillow, I did actually see a lot of people that were commenting with health issues saying that uh, the pillow dramatically helped them. So that's definitely something to consider and if I can find a study I will definitely link it below so you guys can take a look at it. So with these directions, uh, the company is uh, the company is pretty specific about how you should do this correctly uh, to avoid undesired spills of course. So they suggest that you hold the pillow upright using a chair um, and that you fill it you know with the desired amount and so over here, they also even provide you a filling chart uh, saying how many ounces of water exactly you should use to get the kind of firmness that you're looking for in your pillow. So what I've done, uh, just to keep things simple for the time being, is um, I refilled a bottle of Fiji and uh, I want to see you know, how much water this pillow can take and uh, what that looks like, what that feels like if this would even be a significant amount of water for it. So, you know, let's give it a shot. And um, just, as this, uh, just as the suggestions had mentioned, you know, you want to keep the pillow upright <clears throat> to avoid you know, any unwanted spills. And then I'm going to keep the cap here just so it's there when I need it. So far, I guess it's not that uh, evident that there's water inside. <gasps> okay, obviously you want to avoid doing that. Probably one of the uh, the biggest setbacks <laughs> with the pillow that requires water is uh, being very mindful of how of how you pour it. So don't do what I do. Don't get too excited and take it slow because. Um, based on how you position this uh, nozzle here, you know, it will, it will dictate how quickly or how slowly it takes the water.
Okay, so it took a full bottle of water. And you can definitely feel it in the pillow. But I am definitely curious as to how much more water it can take. So I'm going to just close this for a second. Um, and then the cool thing about this is that there is actually um, an O-ring on the inside just to uh, avoid any sort of uh, leaking. Some people have reported that their pillow leaks or has leaked. So it's something you really need to be very careful with. Because it will, you know, affect things. So because I only filled the pillow with a single liter of water, um, I really thought it could take a lot more. So I went back to get more water so that we can actually, you know, feel the difference. Okay, so learn from my mistakes. Uh, when you're opening the pillow, make sure all of the water has actually sunk into the bottom um, because you will end up with a mess like me. Uh, and I don't recommend that, so. All right, so this is liter number two. But let us not forget. All right, and remember to do this slowly. So now this is gonna be the third liter of water that I am pouring into the pillow. So one thing that the company mentions, Mediflow mentions to do is to make sure you get rid of the air pocket. Um, what you want to avoid is having both air and water you know, while you're sleeping on it and you're applying pressure to the pillow. So what they suggest is that you like lift it high like this and then you push it down and then you close it. Right. Yeah, now that's a lot more substantial. So I'm sure you guys can see the difference now. You know, the first time I filled this, I only had a liter of water. Um, now we have three. Um, and so three is considered a medium firm pillow, two is considered soft, and then four to five liters where the pillow maxes out would be considered firm. So I'm gonna just lay on this for a minute, just see what it feels like. Uh, I'm pretty selective with my pillows, so if I don't like it, I'll, I'll know right away. I am pleasantly surprised. This is actually, this is actually pretty comfortable. It is pretty comfortable. I've, I've slept on pillows that were way too high and, you know, they seemed uh, appealing at first and they weren't. I think this, this pillow has a great starting point to begin with. I think being able to add water and adjust it is really, um, it's useful, it's creative, uh, you know, and, it, and it's, it's a unique experience. You get to really customize, customize it and see, see what you like. So if you guys are looking for a different kind of sleeping experience, one where you feel like you're floating on water, give the Mediflow water-based pillow a try. The ability to customize firmness based on how much water you actually put inside the pillow um, is really creative. So I think it's worth a shot. Yeah, like, I like it. I'm really selective with my pillows and um, I think there's a lot of value here and I think that if you look at other online reviews, you'll see that people feel the same way. So thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you guys have a great day and for more sleep related reviews, check us out at sleepsherpa.com.